Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Matthew with the Bender Graphics channel and today we're gonna to be talking about my lever arm lap pull down setup. Specifically, the pieces that I've used to create mine as well as some alternative setups. So if this sounds interesting to you, you're not gonna to wanna to go anywhere. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of content as I plan on making videos just like this weekly. So the reason I'm making this video is I actually had so many people on Instagram and YouTube reach out to me wanting to know specifically which pieces I use to create my lever arm pull down. And I figured rather than answering all the questions individually, it might be beneficial if I just made a video explaining everything I used as well as providing y'all with some alternative pieces that work just as well and then some alternative setups that may or may not work even better but definitely cheaper so but uh yeah let's get started with this video i i didn't freeze i don't know why i did that now before i jump into talking about which pieces i use let me explain why you would even set this up because it's freaking awesome and that's about it no, for real. Um, mainly the reason I set mine up is because I wanted the way to do lat pull downs, although I've mentioned several times that I like to do pull ups. But uh, since I already had the slinger, I wanted the way to do lat pull downs that was more convenient for me, I guess. Granted, Rogue does sell a lat pull down plate loaded attachment. I think it's called the plate load attachment. It's kind of a pain to use, honestly. I mean, you'll attach that to the rack and then everything is top loaded or vertical loading plates. If you've ever loaded a pin and you know what I'm talking about, weights going down on top of each, it's a pain in the butt. With this particular setup, you're just loading from the sides, which is far easier putting on and taking off. Just boom, 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 good to go. Now with that being said, I don't at all suggest you go out and buy short lever arms as well as a slinger just so you can do lap pull downs. That's silly, come on. The main reason I do this is because I already had the short lever arms and the slinger, so I figured, why not? My particular go-to setup is utilizing the slinger, of course, uh, the lever arm itself, obviously, two weight plate storage pins, I believe is what Rogue calls them, and a Rogue shackle. And of course, if I'm gonna be doing lat pull downs rather than like tricep push downs or something like that, I would use the Rogue lat mounted, is it lat? the Rogue rack mounted lat pull down seat. It's really easy to set up. You're just gonna attach the two weight plate storage pins into the arm itself, tighten everything up, attach the shackle with the included nut and bolt, and uh, connect the carabiner you know, to the cord of the slinger. And you're good to go. I hand tighten everything. I don't actually use any tools. And I actually, here's a little tip for you. I use the knurled knob that comes with the Rogue handles whenever I go to put on them weight plate storage pins, if you go about it that way. So uh, you could use the included nut that comes with the pins, but use the knobs. Is it easier? I don't know. Just I am gonna say you don't have to use two weight plate storage pins. You can just use one, or you can use the handle that comes with the lever arms themselves. I like to use two because in my mind, it just makes more sense to evenly distribute the weight on both sides of the lever arm. It's me just overthinking it, I'm sure, so to each their own. One thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind when you're setting up this lever arm setup, I keep saying setup, I don't know what my problem is. The higher you set the trolley, the more of an incline the actual arm itself is gonna be. The steeper the incline, obviously, the more of the weight you're gonna feel, I guess you could say. Now, while this setup is great, if you do happen to have all these pieces, if you don't, like I mentioned, there are alternatives, such as if you don't have a rogue shackle, you can actually use a piece of chain. You just run it through the lever arm, connect the carabiner to it, and it works great. Just make sure that the chain itself will fit through the hole of the lever arm. And then, of course, make sure rating wise, it's going to hold whatever you plan on lifting with it. Now, another alternative, instead of using a slinger if you don't have one, is you can use your own pulley. I actually use a snatch block that's rated up to 10,000 pounds as a pulley. It's something I found at my local tractor supply. Now, if you do decide to use your own pulley, you're gonna have to have a way to attach it to the cross member. I personally recommend using a rogue shackle or a monster attachment post if, of course, you've got a monster rack. And of course, if you don't wanna use either one of those, you can just use a chain, run it through the cross member and connect the pulley to that. It works. Now, an alternative pulley setup could look something like this. As you can see, I've used a rogue safety spotter arm as well as a leg roller. 
with this setup, you can just sit down on your bench, attach the leg roller, put it in the exact spot you want it to be, you're good to go. It's gonna hold you down perfectly fine. And then also, if you do decide to use this setup, it actually doesn't feel bad at all. Like you would think that it would almost feel weird because you're not like in line forwards like you would be using a slinker. You're off to the side, of course. Um, but you're still pulling the load straight up and down regardless of which side or angle you're coming about it from. So. Uh, I highly recommend if you don't have a slinger, try this out. It works, trust me. Another thing to keep in mind, if you do decide to use your own pulleys, you're probably gonna have to make your own cable unless you just happen to have one lying around. Me, myself, I just went to Home Depot, grabbed what I needed, everything was in the same spot, so it was really convenient. Uh, of course, get the cable cut to the length that you need it to be at, make the thing, and uh, yeah, pretty simple process. So now that I've shown y'all a couple of different lat pull-down variations, I figured why not show y'all a low row I've come up with. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I'll just use the snatch block mentioned earlier and then I'll connect it to my rack upright using either a rogue monster shackle or the post attachment. Once you've got the pulley attached to the rack, just add you a safety spotter arm and a couple of band pegs to rest your feet against. I like this low row setup a lot, mainly because it gets you off the ground. You're sitting on your bench, you're resting your feet up against it. And then of course, when you're done doing the movement, you can just set your attachment right there on the safety spotter arm. It's perfect. All right, fellas, that is all I've got for y'all. Hopefully y'all found this video helpful. If you liked it, hit that like button. Again, subscribe if you like this kind of content. But uh, other than that, follow me on Instagram too because I post a lot of stuff on Instagram throughout the week. But uh, yeah, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.